We believe in second chances because compassion and mercy and personal transformation are good things in and of themselves. We need our governors to exercise leadership in demonstrating fairness and compassion, not to shrink from it. Let us start with those who are not violent offenders. Let us start with young people, not violent offenders, near the end of their terms. Let's start somewhere else. That's fine. Just let's start. Just let's start somewhere. The board, you know, people talk about what can we do um, to change the situation. Um, one of the things is it's very important that the board has public um, support. Uh, the decisions that we have to make are extremely difficult decisions. Uh, you have no idea unless you're sitting in this, these seats and have to make these kind of decisions knowing that, a, that your job as a parole board member is to predict future human behavior with 100% accuracy. That's the standard that we're held to. And you are more than victims, you are more than survivors, you are heroes. And uh, I'm sitting on a panel of heroes here, and I know, and I look around, I see so many familiar faces. And that, that is who we are, we are all shining heroes, no matter what. Uh, we are taught as children that we tell the truth, but the truth we tell is the good about every person. Adult. The Eighth Amendment forbids states from making judgment at the outset that young offenders will never be fit to re-enter society. And that's what we do in Massachusetts every day with our kids who are 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 years old. We decide at that point in their life they should never get to come back into society. And that's what this Supreme Court is saying is the wrong thing to do.